Today I'm going to give you my review on Create Studio. Back in August they uh, had a promotion going on and so I jumped on it. And this is a real purchase to test out their software and it's my honest opinion about this product. So first of all, let's talk about the reasons you might want to give this software program a go. If you need to make a product or a service promotion, you can use Create Studio. If you are a YouTuber, if you want to make YouTube animation videos or explainer videos, um, you can also do mobile stories, uh, logo stings, as well as lower third animations. Let's get into the features offered by Create Studio because there's a lot of things that they offer that I think are pretty cool. Um, I do want to just say that I am not a video guru. I don't have a ton of experience with different uh, video softwares. I, I basically know a little bit with iMovie and uh, I did try out this other uh, video editing software, which the name escapes me now, but I will tell you that when I remember. And uh, so I am not a pro at this, but this is my review. And these are the features that I think are really cool. Um, Create Studio has 3D characters with actions and mo they have like motion presets. So that's one of the main eye-catching features I think that uh, Create Studio likes to promote. And um, I think that's what draws a lot of people in as well. They do have 2D characters as well. And they have uh, their, newer, their newest feature is the doodle text, which is really cool. And I will show you um, a little tutorial of sorts in another video. So look for that later on. Um, Create Studio also offers you their background library and you do get a ton of transitions. Well, not, I don't want to say a ton, but I mean, you get a good amount of transitions. You do also get access to the media library, which has a bunch of stock videos and stock photos. There's um, pop-up animations. Those are things like emojis, text bubbles, and even some social media icons. And there is a variety of text fonts. You will not want for text fonts. You will have plenty of options and you are sure to find the one that will fit your um, design best for whatever you are doing. Okay, so those are some of the features. They're constantly coming out with more features, adding to what they have. So that's a plus for Create Studio. Okay, so this is the homepage for Create Studio, as you can see. Breathtaking animation, never seems so simple. And it, it isn't, it's, I mean, it's not super hard. It, it is kind of simple um, with the tutorials, I should say. But messing around with it, I've figured some things out as well. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after making um, the purchase. And here I am after logging in, and this is what it looks like. So I already created some folders um, and I did the stomp tutorial. So I just followed along and uh, created that. So if you go up here to the store, it'll take you to different templates for purchase. Okay, you can see character uh, purchases. And uh, then you have some Instagram, Facebook, you can make extra purchases for these templates. Um, I wanted to show you that you can also do it by free first. So they do have a couple of free templates that you can use. There isn't a ton, but um, you know, I think it's a pretty good deal. So you can kind of browse through here and kind of see the different things that you can go for. Here's a free one. So you got three free under the YouTube uh, templates. Well, let's go to uh, the learn tab here. I want to just show you that it takes you basically to uh, the Create Studio um, YouTube tutorials and um, other promotional products that they have. So they have a ton of these videos that you can browse through. You'll, you'll find something that you need um, 
to help you get along with your, um, your creation, whatever it is you're creating. Okay, so let me go back. Um, the all access pass, that's, I didn't get the all access pass, but uh, this would then be where you would, you know, purchase that or um, see the different options that you can have here. So I'm gonna go back home. I wanna show you what, uh, let's see, what it will be if I do a new project. Okay, so here you have your new project. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, you have your preset. I think a lot of people like to do 1080p. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a white background. Just to show you, you can change it up. All right. So this is what it looks like once you get inside the software. So over here you have your media, you have the Create Studio products here. Let me go back to media real quick. So this is where you would be able to um, import any media that, of your own from your device. And then uh, it would pop down here. Going back to the studio options, you can see you can click on scenes. You can find the characters here, the icons I mentioned. Um, here's some emojis. The, the emojis are pretty cool, actually. I like that they have um, some effects. Here, maybe I can show you. So you got the classic, you got some more modern ones and 3D ones. And this little icon here for the cart means I need to uh, purchase that. It's additional purchases because I don't have the um, all access. So let me go to classic. So this is just telling me I can download it and it's really like one to two seconds for it to download. So I just wanna show you some of these. You can see the different effects that they have. So I can just download it and it's liter literally like two seconds, maybe not even that to have it downloaded. And then I, what I would do is uh, drag it on to my screen and voila. Then I can start creating with that emoji. Okay, I'm gonna go back to home and show you some characters because I know you probably are interested in that. Let's see, we'll go to 3D. So I have, di there's different characters here. These are all the ones that I can um, download without extra purchase. And it looks like they got some new ones in here since I was last on. Let's just take a look. Looks like Chester the Cat. If you need a superhero for your next promotional video. All right, so there are a few just to show you. Now I'm gonna go over here and just show you that you can do some text. Okay, so I typed it in. I do have a white background, so I'm gonna go over here to color. I'm gonna make that red. Let's go back. I'm going to choose a different font if it lets me. There it goes. I told you about the different text fonts. There are a ton. Really a lot to choose from. Really cool. Okay. Let's see what Northwest looks like. Okay. Uh, that's nice. I'm going to get, make it a little bigger. Cruise and learn. All right, now um, going back over to the middle top, you can see this little rectangle box. That's gonna give you all these shapes. There's a variety of shapes. They even have this YouTube shape that you can put in there. Um, this one next to it 
you can explore and find different uh, illustrations or different icons, uh, devices, or 3D objects that you can add into your, your background. So if I were to choose a background over here, if I go back to the Create Studio scenes, I can choose some scenes over here, drag in after I download it, drop it in, and then I can add uh, different items to the scene. So these ones are 3D. They have some others as well. So that's pretty nice to explore. All right. And here you can just um, change your screen size. Pretty basic stuff. Back over here, you have access to the media library. So I'm just going to open that. As you can see, you can look for a specific genre of images or videos. It does use Pexels and Pixabay. Let's see, going to videos, the same thing. Um, you also have audio. Um, these as well are for, you know, if you don't have the all access, you can upgrade and get these little jingles um, or little songs in the, to put in with your video. And they are pretty cool. Um, it makes me want to upgrade, honestly. So um, there's a lot to choose from. That's something fun to explore if you decide to purchase Create Studio. You also have this interesting feature, which is text to speech. So what that does is it gives you the option to type out your script here, and then you can uh, choose the voice if, and the language of um, how you want it to sound. If you don't want to record your voice, you do have the text to speech option. So it's pretty neat but it is very robotic sounding. So that's the only thing um, that I would say for the text-to-speech feature that it is not very natural sounding and um, otherwise I'd be using that right now on my video. But yeah, it's, it's just not um, where I'd want it to be at. So hopefully Create Studio will work um, more with that and then uh, I just wanted to show you real quick that you can do different things with the motion, like zoom. I will click scale up. So I'm scaling up for the cruise and learn uh, emblem, C and L. And if I click play, you'll see how that comes out. So that pops up. It zooms or scales up. And then you also saw my emoji. Let's do that again. Yeah. And then you can obviously drag it out, um, add more to more emoji <laughs> as well, and line that up. So that's, that's a pretty cool feature. Overall, it's a... It's very interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit though, and I'm not gonna save that. So that was a little tour of Create Studio. If you're interested in Create Studio, you'll wanna consider the cost. So let's talk about that. I showed you here um, when I clicked on All Access Pass, you can see 
that it is $2.97 annually. They do always have promotions going on, and so I would definitely take advantage um, of that if there's something going on during the time that you're looking to buy. And um, otherwise, it's $37 monthly. I do want to show you as well that if you need support, you can go over here to the, I the icon and click support. I haven't had to use this yet. Um, however, it seems pretty straightforward. You just type in what you want help with here and do a search and you can have um, or you can start a conversation with someone on the other side. So um, that seems pretty cool. I would say that if you're interested in Create Studio, it's an excellent purchase for anyone uh, creative and who likes making videos, or if you're just looking to increase, you know, your um, business sales through eye-catching media, or if you're just starting out in the video making world, it's still a great purchase. Just be very patient because it's a lot to learn. Luckily, there are tutorials uh, that Create Studio is putting out there frequently and it's fairly easy to follow along. Um, I would say a con might be that there's not enough character options. They do have a pretty good variety of characters. I thought when I purchased Create Studio, or at least I, maybe I should say I, I was hoping that I would be able to create my own character. That's not the case. That would be awesome. It'd be nice to have it customized, to customize those characters a little bit more. So it can feel a little bit limiting at times. Um, and the good thing though, I think, I think that Create Studio is like really doing a good job uh, with continually making updates and improvements with the existing features. And then, you know, every so often, I think they're coming out with um, m some monthly updates and some new things to um, consider and, and to test out. So they're growing and they're still new and fresh. And I think, I think it's a good purchase overall. So if you want my opinion, there you have it. It's a cruise and learn review on Create Studio. I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to get the latest product review or tips for future educational purchases. I have included below some links for Create Studio and some other good stuff. Take care.